great to everybody join us for the Link Builders Challenge Cubicle Party. I don't know if you guys know, but this cubicle party idea actually is from Ao, and she kind of came up with a that idea that you know you could work, everybody could be working on their own thing, and we'd all be chatting. So it's kind of fun. I just wanted to share a couple of things before we talk about anything else. As you can see from the score sheet for this month that I'm sharing, uh, Alesh was able to go ahead and reformat the score sheet now so that we can see by site how many links have been added. So yeah. that's pretty pretty cool being able to have that that way. So that's really nice. So we can see what we're accomplishing that way. Well done, Darren. I know Darren and Danita are like neck and neck. <laughs> <laughs> They're at the top of the page. Kind of I, fun. I, I often forget. Yeah, I get Just going to, to... adding and then I forget to, yeah. I know it's it's definitely yeah. a new habit to kind of get into yeah. basically although I yeah, just, just did a couple sorry yeah it's, it's the remembering to check it that's the thing yeah I'm just going to go through and add these are some of the profiles I was adding on Saturday so I'm going to go ahead and do some of these so link builders is just another challenge that we have. It's not one I've heard of before. Yeah. So for um, ambassadors, it's actually our only uh, challenge for ambassadors. It's just a way um, to bring awareness to it too. Um, I mean, it's not like we're getting a badge or anything, but you can have a sticker on your profile, but it's, uh, it's helping us uh, build awareness for Wikitree out there. Uh, so this is an example of find a grave. I'm just adding, it's not a URL to the profile. So it's not an actual link, but it is uh, giving the profile ID um, out there on the find a grave memorial. Right. I, like I said, I, I don't know if I said it. I do that on all my profiles on Ancestry. I'll include the, That's nice. the um, WikiTree link on yeah. all my ancestors. If I did that for all my ancestry tree, I'd have like thousands. Yeah. I did well, it with some. I only include all um, cousins and things for the first five generations because that helps with DNA and stuff like that. After that, I just include my um, direct line. So, I mean, yeah, it's still going to be in the thousands, but <laughs> I do it as I build them. That That's helps. great. Yeah. But I've been building my tree for more than 30 years. Oh, I have two. I have two. But I didn't always include the cousins. So as oh, I've been exactly. including those through the years um, to help with some DNA research projects, that's when I've been doing it. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I, cause I remember watching something from Krista Cowan many, quite a few years ago that said, I was include laterally out so the ancestors, their siblings, and the siblings up to the grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So the siblings, children, and grandchildren at every level. Well, I have a lot of French Canadians. Oh, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> That's half a lot of profiles. <laughs> and then my husband, my ex-husband is French Canadian. And I originally, so his and mine are all in the same tree because they're connected. Yeah. So... It's in the thousands. Yeah. Yeah. yeah my, so most of them had big families. Yeah. My late husband was also his maternal side was no, his paternal side was had some French Canadian and mine is just Nova Scotia, New Finland, but it's still a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know um, if everybody saw this last couple of times, but um, also on Ancestry, uh, what I've been doing is when you're in a record, uh, especially mm -hmm. something like a marriage birth, marriage, or death record, you can also go down to a comment, add a comment to that record that. so that people see that when they see that record. And then uh, Tania was sharing last month on newspapers.com. You can also, if you change the title of the clip to something like that. So that's kind of another way on newspapers.com, you can add links back to the wiki tree. So that's what it looks like now up here. 
name of the clipping basically. So, and then um, in order to be able to uh, get access to the challenge tracker, of course, we need to make an edit to the profile. I was in this profile earlier today when I was doing this, the presentation, so. <laughs> Cleaning up what you did? No, just showing people how to use do a citation on Wikitree. Gotcha. No, there I mean, go. just now you're cleaning up what you did in that presentation. Oh, yeah. I just, yeah, basically discarded the edit. I'm just going to add a category, and that'll get me to the challenge tracker. Sometimes I'll go in and just add the parents as a, um, the the radio or the buttons for the parents are um, confident. Oh I'll go yeah, in and add that if I yeah, forgot edit before, the data that, field the challenge tracker again. That's a good way to do it too. Yeah. So um, and I just putting in all the different places that I added the links to here, so that um, on the score sheet then he's looking for those words from the hints so that's how we're I'm sorry where did you put that uh in the challenge tracker right here if okay click, click on this link builders okay and then it gives you these options right here gotcha. so then I just I clicked on the ones that I did and it adds it sweet yeah yeah and so you can do that per profile Got yeah it. it's pretty fun uh just to you know Basically, it's another way to spread the word. Mm -hmm. So, Stephen, anybody can be a link builder. Okay, just yeah. Is it. once you use, I think once you use the tracker, <laughs> you're included. Yeah, correct. Yep, and we just ask that people comment on the post. Uh, there's a G2G post out there. I'll just add that. I'll put that in the comment. If you just want to add yourself to that, 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 that'd that be great. Just because it's nice to look back and see who, who commented. Yeah, and funeral homes do have websites. Sometimes you can leave a comment or on the obituary. Sometimes you can put that there. You can say, uh, you've been working on this family. Here's some more information about this family for this person or whatever. So that's just another way. So um, on the... G2G post that kind of gives examples of the different places where you can leave links. We talk about um, Wikidata. You know, if there's a Wikipedia article for somebody, there's a correlation, correlating Wikidata page for them so that you can link back to Wikitree from their Wikidata page. So that's one place. And then IMDB, Internet Movie Database, is another website that you can link back from. So just give some examples. And of course the space page that's out there has, um, I've got more information, previous month's uh, stats, and then examples for how to do the different ones. So also there's, I've got some uh, Wikitree Plus queries on here. If you are looking for something to work on, if you want to just, maybe you want to just take a break from doing what your, your family you're working on. You just want to try doing something different. Maybe you want to work on some notable profiles of people that have, uh, this search looks for people who have a link to an IMDB profile. So you could go out and edit their IMDB profile, have it linked back to Wikitree. So that's just as an example query that you could look on Wikitree Plus for those people. So anyone want to share anything that they've been working on or what they, uh, tips and tricks that they have? They can share, you can share your screen if you want or. I've just been working mostly on find a grave flowers. Uh -huh. Because mm -hmm. that's the easiest when I'm getting the information from there anyway. Yeah. It's sometimes when I'm done with editing the profile that I forget to <laughs> go to the link builders. Yeah. yeah. I find I'm probably getting tracking about, oh, maybe two, two thirds of the profiles that I'm edit editing. Uh huh. 
yeah, yeah. that's good but i i know i gotta get i gotta get back into the habit of doing it and you go for a while where somebody doesn't there's a whole people groups of people that you're working on they don't have fi- find a grave or they don't you know maybe they're not in family search yet or whatever and so it's like then you kind of get out out of the habit okay. i'm working on the sorry go ahead oh, go, go ahead okay i'm working with the holocaust project the holocaust uh, 2025 project yeah and i've noticed that some of them do have finder grave. It's only saying where they, I'm like working on people from France. Uh-huh. Um, so some of them have it, but it's just showing where they are on the memorial in Paris. Mm-hmm. I guess I could put it on there too, because it yeah. is a finder grave site. That's right. Yeah. And I'm putting more information than what they have on their finder <laughs> grave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Linking them and yeah. at least adding the minimum information I know because that's yep. the point of the holocaust project yeah is getting the information on there yep yeah and i'm taking it from a combination of three different sites which don't always have the same information yeah the, the yad yep. vashem the memorial de la shoa and then there's another site i found that gives even more information that's yeah. also um paris uh, france linked to the people because i'm working on a, speci- a particular transport from france mm-hmm okay i didn't even think of doing it for them yeah you know one thing i notice is like on find a grave if you find somebody and that's the only person they have in there i'll search on the other cemetery for the their surnames too and sometimes you'll find their husband they just don't have them linked yes oh i've done that for for kids for 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 their spouse for their parents yeah. Or some siblings will be attached, but I'll find one in another cemetery. Even that's in the same not town. attached, so I'll link them. Yeah. And they could be even in the same town. Like yeah. I have one for the uh my friends that were here. The his dad is at one cemetery and his mom's at the other one in town here, which is kind of different, but um yeah. I have grandparents in two separate c- cemeteries because they were different religions yeah different languages different religions yeah and i think this gal remarried after because she's on the headstone she's with somebody else so yeah i think that's probably what often then she gets buried with his family or that yeah yeah Yeah. so yeah and he's actually buried near his first wife so (laughs) (laughs) my grandmother is buried with her second husband in one cemetery but her it doesn't even tell you that she had a first husband but and he's buried in this the catholic cemetery she's in the protestant but her but one of her kids her son is buried in the protestant cemetery close to her uh-huh but it's like he's got the last name of the first husband so and and my grandfather had two other wives and they're all buried in different cemeteries too yeah yeah it's really interesting Yeah, I I remember I linked my dad to his parents because my dad's buried in Toronto, Ontario, but his parents are in Windsor, Ontario. So uh-huh. And now Hi, Chris. my mother will be Hey guys. Howdy. Hey. Yeah, it's been great to see. I think actually i think this month is the first month um the most that we've had because there's 27 people that have been that have done one at least one and i think previous months the most we've had is like 25 or something so it's kind of nice to see that number go up All right. Okay, so these link builder people are not necessarily ambassadors, right? Right. You don't have to be an ambassador. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
I haven't joined the ambassador's project yet. I I was added to it, <laughs> kind of going, oh, I guess I'm part of the ambassador's project. Yeah, I, oh, I, yeah. I, I pulled you in. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, okay. <laughs> and you pulled me in. I thought I was the only one. No, I, I grab people. Come on. <laughs> I told you I was the only one. Well, you're already doing this stuff, so it's like, you might as well have a badge, right? <laughs> I thought it was special. <laughs> oh, you are special, Chris. You always will be. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, Wait a minute. <laughs> special how? It depends how you want to be special. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's okay. Uh. Yeah, well, the other thing with, with this challenge is like you can you can find out that you can actually add a link because uh, the billion the billion graves site. Oh, I was adding. And sources, and uh, I noticed that there was an edit thing in it. Oh, really? Look, Do you have and, an example uh, profile? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. I'd have to. Uh, I haven't uh, used Billion Grows a lot. I don't even think. I like that billions of graves because it'll also pinpoint where the stone is sometimes. Uh huh. Well, so will so will find a grave if the person has yeah, they have it. put that in there, um, or if they've uh, got the image and the image has the GPS coordinates in it, and they upload the image, um, it'll put it in there too. They just don't have the map with all the little dots where you could just. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I was kind of hoping the wiki tree would have done that too, but uh, they don't quite do that either. <laughs> yeah, well, some I, of those cemeteries are huge. Yeah, yes. it's really cool. There's a there's a cemetery in Portland, Oregon that has um if you go to their website, they have that. Uh they have a dot for each of the graves and you can zoom in and out. It's really cool. A, a map oh. on there. <laughs> They all know what happened in April. Yeah. <laughs> Get out yourselves. I think Hopefully it's math that sense. I think it's uh Willamette um, National Willamette Cemetery. National. Willamette National Cemetery. Uh, well, right Nash across the river from me. Well, I've just put a link to a circle oh, that I added a, oh, that's a nice. link on the oh, okay. Green Grace. Yeah. Uh, 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 Asher, you're in Washington too, aren't you? Uh, no, that I'm from. Actually, I grew up. I was born in Beaverton, and I oh, grew okay. up around the Portland area. And then I lived in Washington for many years. But then my mom mm -hmm. and I moved down to New Mexico, so that's where we're. Oh, at. Okay. I'm just okay. a couple hours north of where Aon is. Oh, okay. It's in Albuquerque. I've been to New Mexico many times. Yeah, it's it's nice. But I've I've lived in Washington since seventy. Well, the day Elvis died is the day we moved up. So. Oh wow. That's how I remember it. Nineteen seventy seven. Yeah. August. <laughs> My dad died in July that year. That's why I remember. Yeah. That's that's great. I was born nineteen seventy eight. Ah, what? <laughs> that's great. Memory for Alfred. Why are we looking at family search? Yeah, sure. There we go. Yeah, so if you pop down into a memorial there. Yeah. Okay, and oh, you cool. Can see Description. Description. Nice. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, so, so I, I wasn't sure what policy. Well, I was about doing a link, so I just sort of followed what what we do is family search, uh, not family search, find the grave is sort of 
say with the plea profile and then the profile number. Mm -hmm. Yes, but there is a problem with this. Like if you click on Francis or Brian, you'll see that same message. Oh, interesting. Oh. Oh, weird. Yeah, yeah so I'm not sure what why it is. And I only discovered that because I had two two people in the in the on the on the same site. And did it. Uh, Shouldn't you put Okay, sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Um go ahead, Darren. All right, you go. I was just thinking if you put the two profiles like Lynch something and then Hawking something. If that's your maiden name, yeah. you'd have to well, put both. The problem was I didn't realize until I, I went to the other profile and, and found it. Well, even, uh, even if they went to Lynch, they would see the other one there anyway, if it's a spouse yeah, or a child. Uh, so, or yeah, yeah. Well, and it looks uh, like there's more room in the notes you could add. Um, you could say uh, Karen is WikiTree, whatever, and then Francis is Wiki wiki tree or hawking and then you know what i mean you could just yeah, have uh, another i don't have francis oh uh, yeah wiki tree yet and i don't have brian oh gotcha gotcha so i'm i'll have to actually check on that family and work out where the connections are nice but that's great uh, oh yeah so it's uh, Another oh, way that you can sort of add. Right. And you did, I think you did mention that. That's why I've got Billion Graves as a option. Yeah. So that's cool. I just had forgotten yeah. that you'd shown us that or to told us that last month. But yeah, that, that is great. <laughs> well, I just no, don't I go to Bill. We, I don't go there it, a lot. We did it this month. Oh, so okay. It was done in May. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Well, so that's why the, the one, the two profiles that I've got in the other were. We are for billion graves. Cool. Awesome. 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 Yeah. Anywhere we, anywhere anybody finds that we can link back to, just let us know, and I can add, I can add it as an option here, uh, for you guys to be able to select it. So. <clears throat> I mean, you could spend full time just adding links back, but trying to do it as part of doing something else and remembering to add the link. Yeah, that's what it, that is. Uh, that's true. Uh, for uh, fandom sites, you can also add uh, memory alpha for the uh, Star Trek actors. I'm just saying. If you yeah, it's just uh, some examples. Yeah, there's, oh, okay. I mean, there's a gazillion fandom sites out there. Yeah. You know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's things like baseball. I mean, there's fa fandom sites for different sports and all different kinds of stuff. So I wasn't going to list them all out. Fandom sites for everything. Yeah. So I don't even think of looking for those. I guess I'm not a true fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have uh, Jeff Tartar's wiki of uh, Steve Greenwood's. Uh, yeah, Steve Greenwood's oh. Wikipedia. Yep. Well, they have a page long article about Chewbacca's eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> I tease him about that so much. Yeah, so I've actually got to look and see if there's a fence. Well, I'll now do this with a fan site for the TV show that I'm planning on doing. Uh, a free space page for. I'll have to see what if you can actually edit that page and like add links to wiki tree because we've got because the show that I'm thinking of got, it's got unfortunately got quite a few stars who have passed away. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. And it's only, what, oh, 30 years old, the show? Yeah. It'll be interesting to look, look into. But it's like finding the time. <laughs> exactly. There's yeah. always more to do. Yeah. Yes, well, I just saw a newspaper article the other day about the, the, a link to what all the streets in, my, in the city I'm in, like, like who, who the streets are named for. And it's uh -huh. like, I had a look for a few, and like, there's already a few profiles on Wikipedia already. There was a MASH special on in, I think it was on in the States too last night. And uh, my cousin and I were talking about how many people had died from there. There's only like four left. Wow. Huh. Of the main cast. Huh. Uh, I was looking at this, where the wrestling thing and it's like there was a stable called the Hart Dynasty and it's like there's only one one of them left. Yeah. There's only two original series cast members of Star Trek still around, William Chatner and George Takei. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah. We still have they're getting Tom, up there. We still have Tom Baker. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Still hanging in there. Oh, that's what I was going to look at. I was going to take, go to, I wonder if I already did this. Let's see. I don't know if everybody's seen this or not, but you can take um, any category, like if there's a cemetery that's on Wikipedia, you can link to it from Wikidata. So let's see if I did this already. Oops. Nope. Okay, so just add an item. Can add a category or a space page or both. I'm just going to do that real quick for this page. Of course, this isn't something that's available for the tracker, but <laughs> it is a link back to WikiTree. So that's kind of nice. Just a, another way to link back. Thanks everybody for joining us for the chat tonight. And the next one will be on June 25th. And that's 7 p.m. Eastern. And at the time, we'll go ahead and show what our stats are for that month. And I should be getting a post up uh, Saturday sometime for June's challenge. So stay tuned for that. I'll post it into the Ambassadors Google group and the Ambassadors Discord channel. So you can look for that there. And uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions about the challenge or uh, anything else. We'll see you next month. Bye.